Whenever you're making a decision, you need to think about the consequences. You need to think about the options. You need to think about, oftentimes our decisions, we make decisions depending on our upbringing. Don't just allow a circumstance or a situation or a family member or a peer to convince you to do something that could potentially compromise your health, could potentially compromise your safety, could potentially compromise your career, could potentially compromise your ability to make it to the next level, right? If you grew up in a community where there were no snakes and you saw a television and you're afraid of snakes, then automatically you'll be afraid of the snakes whether they were poisonous or not. Because who is in control of your success? Who? So depending on who you are and your experiences can determine what decision you'll make. So what we're going to do now, we're going to talk about <coughs> why it is important and how to make a good decision. You got asked a bunch of good questions. Are all consequences bad? No, no. Give me a good consequence. Get money. Okay, how? By cleaning your room up and doing some chores. Okay, that's a good consequence. What about exercising? Do you what? The consequence of exercising is don't work. You in shape. You lose weight. And no matter what decision you make, a consequence is going to follow. One of the things that you want to do when you're making a decision, think about both sides of the consequence. Because you may make a consequence that could be negative, but it could be beneficial for you. It may not be beneficial at that time. Can anybody give an example? Ooh. A negative consequence? Not necessarily negative, but something that may not feel good at that present time, but may be beneficial for you in the long run. Good deal. Who said that? Condition. Condition may hurt. You may be frustrated. You may be tired. Your friends may be kicking and eating 12 bags of chips. But if you're conditioning when it's when it's time to get on the field, on the court, then what happens? You ready, right? Studying. Studying. That's another good one. Studying may be frustrating. Like, you know, even just reading something every single day. Because the more you read, the more you increase your vocabulary. The more you increase your vocabulary, the more you can be able to comprehend other things. Because sometimes for some readers, they read something, they have to read it two and three times because they just don't comprehend it. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you realize that reading is a weakness for you, then you work on it to get strong. Everybody in the world has weaknesses. Include myself, include Coach Phil. Everybody has a weakness. If somebody tell you they have a weakness, one or two things. Even Superman has a weakness. <laughs> exactly. Everybody has a weakness. But the way that you strengthen your weakness is working on it, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody has strengths. Okay, good deal. So you guys just named some really good things. So we're going to go back to you've identified the consequence. The next you have to identify the best option. I want to use somebody says studying and conditioning. If you study and you condition to get your body right, what's some of the things that can happen for you? Be ready for a test. All of those are good things. Say for instance you don't study and you don't condition because you're young, you feel like you're strong, and you're probably better than the next man sitting next to you. But the thing about it is, it's not just the people in the house that you're competing with. You're competing with people on the outside as well. So if you're beating everybody here, it doesn't matter because y'all in the same place doing the same thing, trying to get to the same place, right? right. You want to be able to compete with the people outside your inner community, right? Mm -hmm. Same thing in your house. You want to be the strong man. You want to be the last man standing. You don't want to just beat the people in the house. You want to be able to beat the people outside the house. So say for instance, instance if they were racing and he can beat him, you still want to continue to condition and work hard because just because you beat him doesn't mean that you can beat somebody else. All because of the decisions and the choices that you made, okay? So let's go to number six. Tell me what the first one is and somebody tell me what I mean when I say identify a decision. Wait, what? Identify this decision you want to make. This decision that you want to make. What's the next one? Let's get somebody different. <coughs> gather information. You gather the information. What do you mean when you say gather the information? Fill in the blanks. So yeah, you learn more about think about what you want to do. do. Think about what you want to do. Think about what you want to do. And what's next? Identify options. All your options. Okay. What does it mean to identify options? Like, like, weigh it up. Like, like, weigh it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, weigh, it up. weigh them out. Well, weigh them out. That's important, right? You don't just want to make the first decision. You out in the mall, you see a pretty girl, you're like, ooh, I'm going to talk to her. You might want to just wait because it may be a pretty girl down the walkway, right? Mm -hmm. Or the pretty girl may not really be pretty. She might kind of be ugly, but since she's so far, you can't really tell. Then you don't walk up to her and you don't miss another pretty girl, right? Yeah. And then you don't left her open for somebody else, right? Not a joke, not a joke. Y'all funny. Okay, so what's the next one? Identify consequences. Identify consequences. 
We good. talked about this. Oh, yes. Oh, what good and bad can come out of your what decision. What good and bad can come out of your decision. Because guess what? Something going to come out of either good or bad. What's the next step? Choose and identify the best option. Okay, what, what does that mean? Pick the option that's yeah, best for you. That's best for you. Because what may be good for you. Probably ain't good for him. Absolutely. What may be good for you may not be good for you. It's almost like losing weight. Are you guys familiar with blood types? Yeah. There's a bunch of different blood types. Depending on your blood type determine how you lose weight. Mm -hmm. For instance, I'm old. So technically, I'm supposed to eat a lot of vegetables, exercise aggressively, and eat meat. So if I'm looking at somebody else who cannot eat and lose weight, if I not eat, I'm not going to lose weight because my fat will be stored. So I can't do what may work for you. I have to do what works for me. But you have to know yourself in order to be able to make that decision. If I didn't know that, then I may follow him if he, like he may have eaten all those chips and didn't gain weight. If I follow him, because maybe the more he eats, the more he loses. Because you do know the more you eat, the more your body burns and the faster your metabolism, right? But it may not work for me. And if I follow him, he can slim and I'm getting fat, right? That's not going to be a good look, right? Mm -hmm. Right? So you have to know yourself. You have to know what your strengths are. You have to know what your weaknesses are, right? Good deal. What's the next one? Take, take action. action. Take action. Now, that's easy. What does it mean to take? Let me pick somebody who I hadn't heard from. What does it mean to take action? Just start doing something. Like, the decision that you made and... Go for it. Yes, like Nike, just do it. Stop talking about it and what? Just do it. Yes, I was going to say stop talking about it and be about it. Good deal. That's it. So this is what I want you guys to do. We just talked about a lot of stuff. Am I losing y'all? No. Good. Can I see some tea? Smiles. That makes me sweat. I'm just joking. Okay, so what have you guys learned? How, first of all, let me ask this question. Even though this information is very basic, and I'm sure you guys do it every day, all the time, but we never really think about the steps that we have to go through in order to make a good decision, but I can almost guarantee the next time you make a decision, especially a hard one, you'll begin to think about what are the options, what are your consequences. How, how have you guys, or how do you guys think you'll be able to use this information in the future? I mean... Let me ask this gentleman right here. How, how do you think you'll be able to use this information in the future? Say you're choosing between schools that you want to go to. Ooh, that's a good one. Talk to us about that. Let's go through the steps. And let's have some schools. I'm sure you have something in your heart. You need to start putting them out. So put them out, put them in, and start manifesting. So let me hear some schools. Or right, if you want to share, you may not want to share. Just keep it in. Process with us. But say you want to go to this school, but it might not be the best decision for you, then because it's a bigger school and then there's one that's a lower school, but it might be better for you. Okay. Okay. Are you going to school for academics? Or are you going to school to play ball? Yeah. Are you going to school for both? Because that's a possibility. Mm -hmm. Do you want to be in a small school you can get more attention academically? Or go to a big school where you may get some attention academically, but you may not be able to play as much as you want to because there are seniors ahead of you? All of those things you have to begin to think about, right? Do you want to be in a small school because you came from a smaller school and it makes you comfortable? Do you want to be in a big school, in a diverse school because you went to a school that was very diverse? You have to begin to think of all of those things because ultimately it will determine your success or your inability to be successful, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good deal. Thank you. Anybody else want to share and just tell me kind of what you got from it? Yes, sir. I mean, as a teenager, we all like, have to face a lot of like, like other teenagers trying to you to give you like, like, it involve you into like parties, drugs, something like that. So, something like that, like decision making. Good deal. What are y'all thoughts on drugs? I don't do drugs. Yeah, yeah, uh, I never been into drugs like that, but like I'm talking about like specific like parties and stuff, mm -hmm. and okay. where, which involves something like that. What do you guys think about parties? Love them. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say be honest. I don't go to parties. I just stay in the house. You what do you guys think about parties? Yeah, when you guys okay when you guys go to parties you guys know that that's the probably the biggest and the most opportune time that you have to begin to put this decision making stuff in place yeah. who's gonna be there it's gonna be girls there it's gonna be dudes with guns and raw crowd and yeah. drugs weed which you want sex y'all getting that <laughs> will it be safe will i abstain yeah. will we pray i'm just saying those are all options then y'all are athletes. So y'all know the girls like the athletes, right? Yeah. Right? He like, yeah. Okay, anybody else? Thank you, good deal. Thank y'all for sharing. <laughs> anybody else?
No back. Okay, good deal. 